Welcome to our exploration of the fascinating history and cultural significance of Amanita muscaria, also known as the fly agaric mushroom. You know, the one with the iconic red cap and white spots, the one that's practically a cultural icon in its own right, showing up everywhere from fairy tales to Super Mario Brothers. But there's so much more to this mushroom than meets the eye. Join us as we delve into the spiritual, ritualistic and shamanic uses of this iconic mushroom across various cultures. We'll uncover how this seemingly simple organism has captivated the human imagination for millennia. Our journey begins in the frozen wilderness of Siberia, home to the shamans who have long held a deep connection with the natural world. For centuries, Siberian shamans have used Amanita muscaria to enter trance states, embarking on spiritual journeys to commune with the spirit world, seek divine guidance, and unravel the mysteries of life and death. Picture this, a lone shaman, cloaked in the furs of animals, venturing into the heart of the taiga, the vast Siberian forest. He carries with him a pouch containing Amanita muscaria, carefully dried and prepared. The shaman prepares a fire, the flames casting dancing shadows on the surrounding trees. With reverence, he ingests the mushroom, either directly, or perhaps steeped in hot water to create a potent brew. As the effects of the mushroom take hold, the shaman feels himself slipping into an altered state of consciousness. The boundaries between the physical and spiritual realms begin to blur and he embarks on a visionary journey guided by the spirits of the forest. These journeys are not mere flights of fancy, they are deeply spiritual experiences through which the shaman seeks wisdom, healing and a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all things. Our exploration of Amanita muscaria takes us westward to the snow-covered landscapes of northern Scandinavia, home to the indigenous Sami people. The Sami, like many cultures who share their lives with reindeer, have a deep understanding of the plants and animals that inhabit their world. And within their traditions, Amanita muscaria holds a place of particular significance. Sami shamans, known as Noides, have long used the fly agaric mushroom as a tool for spiritual exploration and healing. Imagine, if you will, a Sami shaman clad in traditional garb, preparing for a sacred ceremony. He carefully collects Amanita muscaria mushrooms, their red caps vibrant against the snowy backdrop. These mushrooms are not just for the shaman's consumption, however. They are also fed to the reindeer, who seem to share a peculiar affinity for the intoxicating effects of the mushroom. And here's where things get really interesting. The Sami discovered that the psychoactive compounds in Amanita muscaria are filtered and perhaps even concentrated when passed through a reindeer system. So, the shaman would collect the reindeer's urine and consume it, allowing him to experience the mushroom's effects with potentially fewer side effects. It's a fascinating example of how humans have adapted to their environment and learned to work with the natural world in ingenious ways. From the frozen north, we journey southward to the lands of the Vikings, fierce warriors and explorers who struck fear into the hearts of many. Could there be a connection between the legendary ferocity of the Viking berserkers and the intoxicating effects of Amanita muscaria? Imagine for a moment the thunderous roar of a Viking longship, its prow adorned with a fearsome dragon's head as it cuts through the waves. On board, a band of warriors prepares for battle, their faces grim, their eyes burning with an almost supernatural intensity. These are the berserkers, the Viking shock troops known for their ferocious fighting style and seemingly superhuman strength. They would work themselves into a frenzy, casting aside their shields and armor and charge into battle with reckless abandon. Could Amanita Muscaria have played a role in inducing this trance-like state of fury? While historical evidence is scant, it's a tantalizing possibility. And beyond the battlefield, it's believed that Germanic and Norse tribes may have incorporated Amanita muscaria into their rituals dedicated to Odin, the All-Father, God of Wisdom, War, Magic, and, wait for it, poetry. That's right, the Vikings weren't all blood and thunder. They appreciated a good poem too, but I digress. The use of Amanita muscaria in these rituals, if true, speaks to the mushroom's ability to facilitate altered states of consciousness, allowing those who partook to connect with the divine and tap into hidden realms of power. Chapter 5. Whispers from the Pacific Northwest In the heart of the Pacific Northwest, where the trees whisper secrets and the rivers sing ancient songs, we find the Amanita muscaria. This mystical mushroom has been the subject of many legends and tales. Some say it can grant visions, others say it just makes you see funny colors. Chuckle. 
Imagine yourself standing amidst towering cedar and fir trees, the air thick with the scent of damp earth and pine needles. Sunlight filters through the canopy above, casting an ethereal glow on the forest floor. Here, in this realm of ancient trees and whispering spirits, some Native American tribes may have used Amanita Muscaria as a means of connecting with the spirit world. The details of these practices remain shrouded in mystery, passed down through generations through oral traditions and carefully guarded from outsiders. But the fact that such whispers persist at all suggests that Amanita Muscaria may have held a sacred place in the hearts and minds of those who called this land home. Chapter 5 Ancestral Echoes in Central Asia our exploration of Amanita Muscaria's cultural significance takes us now to the vast steppes of Central Asia, a region steeped in history and tradition. Here, amidst rolling grasslands and towering mountain ranges, nomadic Turkic tribes have roamed for centuries, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of nature. And within their ancient shamanic practices, Amanita Muscaria has played a fascinating role. Imagine a group of nomads gathered around a crackling fire, the stars twinkling above them like celestial diamonds. The air is alive with the sound of chanting and drumming as a shaman prepares to embark on a spiritual journey. He carefully consumes a preparation of Amanita Muscaria, seeking to connect with the spirits of his ancestors and seek their guidance. Ancestor worship is a cornerstone of many Central Asian cultures, and Amanita Muscaria may have served as a conduit between the living and the dead, allowing the shaman to tap into the wisdom and knowledge of those who came before. These rituals were not merely about honoring the past, however, but also about ensuring the well-being of the present and the future. By seeking the blessings and guidance of their ancestors, the nomads sought to maintain balance and harmony in their lives and in the world around them. Chapter 6 The Soma Speculation – A Divine Elixir Our journey through the history and mythology of Amanita Muscaria leads us now to the ancient Indian subcontinent a land steeped in spirituality and philosophical inquiry. Here, amidst the hymns and verses of the Rigveda, one of the oldest sacred texts in Hinduism, we encounter a mysterious substance known as Soma. Described as a divine elixir, Soma was said to bestow upon those who consumed it heightened awareness, ecstatic states, and even immortality. But the true identity of Soma has been a matter of debate and speculation for centuries. Enter ethnomycologist R. Gordon Wasson, who in 1968 proposed a bold theory that Soma was, in fact, Amanita Muscaria. Wasson pointed to the Rigveda's vivid descriptions of Soma's effects, which bear striking similarities to the known effects of the fly agaric mushroom. He argued that the mushroom's intoxicating properties could account for the ecstatic states and divine insights attributed to Soma. While Wasson's theory remains controversial, it has sparked a fascinating debate among scholars and enthusiasts alike. Could this humble mushroom, so closely associated with Siberian shamans and Viking berserkers, also be the key to unlocking one of the most enduring mysteries of ancient India? The question remains open, but the possibility is certainly intriguing. Chapter 7 A Mushroom of Myths and Fairy Rings Our exploration of Amanita Muscaria's cultural impact takes a turn into the realm of folklore and fairy tales, where the line between reality and imagination blurs. For centuries, this striking mushroom has been linked to magical beings and supernatural occurrences in the folklore of various cultures. Picture yourself wandering through a mist-shrouded forest, the air thick with the scent of moss and damp earth. Suddenly, you stumble upon a ring of mushrooms, their red caps dotted with white, seemingly glowing in the dim light. This, according to European folklore, is a fairy ring, a place where fairies dance and revel under the moonlight. Amanita Muscaria, with its vibrant colors and intoxicating properties, has long been associated with these enchanted realms, believed to be a favorite food of fairies and other mystical creatures. But the mushroom's folklore isn't always so whimsical. In some traditions, Amanita Muscaria is linked to witchcraft and sorcery, its potent effects seen as a source of both healing and harm. Whether viewed as a gateway to the realm of fairies or a tool of witches, Amanita Muscaria has undoubtedly left its mark on the human imagination, inspiring countless tales of magic, mystery, and the supernatural. Chapter 8 Ancient Practices – Modern Revivals Our journey through the cultural history of Amanita Muscaria brings us to the present day, 
where this ancient mushroom is experiencing a resurgence of interest among those seeking to reconnect with nature, explore altered states of consciousness, and tap into the wisdom of ancient traditions. In neo-shamanic and neo-pagan circles, Amanita muscaria is revered as a powerful ally for spiritual exploration and healing. Practitioners approach the mushroom with a deep sense of respect and reverence, recognizing its potential for both profound insights and potential risks. Modern-day shamans may incorporate Amanita muscaria into their rituals and ceremonies, using it as a tool for divination, journeying and connecting with the spirit world. They may also work with the mushroom for its purported healing properties, seeking to address physical, emotional or spiritual imbalances. It's important to note that the use of Amanita muscaria in contemporary shamanic practices is not without its critics. Some argue that it's a dangerous practice that should be avoided, while others believe that it should only be undertaken under the guidance of an experienced practitioner. As with any powerful tool, respect, knowledge and careful preparation are essential. Chapter 9. From Shamanic Ritual to Santa Claus Our final stop on this journey through the cultural history of Amanita Muscaria takes us to a perhaps unexpected destination, the realm of Christmas traditions. While it may seem like a stretch to connect this ancient mushroom with the jolly old elf himself, some scholars believe there may be a link, albeit a speculative one. The theory goes something like this. Siberian shamans, as we've discussed, have long used Amanita muscaria in their winter solstice rituals. During these ceremonies, they would often dress in red and white clothing, colors associated with the mushroom itself. They would also collect Amanita muscaria mushrooms from under pine trees, a practice that might sound familiar to anyone who's ever seen a Christmas tree adorned with presents. And then there's the reindeer connection. As we've learned, reindeer have a peculiar affinity for Amanita muscaria and its intoxicating effects. Some scholars believe this association between shamans, reindeer and the red and white mushroom may have influenced the development of the Santa Claus myth as we know it today, with the flying reindeer and the jolly old elf in his red suit. While this theory is far from conclusive, it's a fascinating example of how ancient traditions and beliefs can evolve and transform over time, taking on new meanings and associations. The Enduring Allure of Amanita Muscaria Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cultural history of Amanita Muscaria. From the frozen wastelands of Siberia to the depths of the Amazon rainforest, we've explored the many ways this unassuming mushroom has captivated the human imagination for millennia. We hope you found this exploration as enlightening as the ancient rituals themselves. The world of ethnobotany, the study of the relationship between people and plants, is full of such fascinating stories, reminding us of the deep connections that exist between humanity and the natural world. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of history and culture.